northwest side of the map. We're going to have to close hole, go luffing a bit. We're going to be more or less all isolated in the channel right there as a fleet. We'll tack down, we'll hold the coastline, and we'll get rid of the town gun, which is on the island directly south of the Axe. Um, we can either wait for the British fleet to come tack up towards us, we'll try to fight them, we'll just all jump in the town at once, or alternatively, um, we'll just sail directly down on them, hug the coastline, and prepare to engage them someplace near the fortress. The alternative here, the wind. wind is coming from the, uh, more or less south, a bit from the southwest. Uh, an alternative here is that we take the scimitar, try going north, more more or less west really hug the coastline however in that regard it's so easy to pass by one of these islands and completely forgive wind so much to the regard that i'd state we'd actually just cut a straight direct north path through everything here all right i'm uh in favor of the scimitar strategy but it's your call coughlin whatever way you want to do it good fuck coughlin he's uh, not let's see how many people how many people they have i think scimitar because we will be giving up wind if we got axe immediately. Agreed. And the wind's coming out of the southwest. So I can't believe you, getting it, along that coast of the town is going to suck really bad. No, I can't believe this. N n lead has been injured from me again. Oh, fuck this. Dingson, what are you talking about? You dice rolled. You lost. I never conceded just, to the dice let's roll. Let's see how many people they had. We know they're gonna at have least a full if we, for it's totally If we go out axe, at least we can run away when we are about to die, because we'll have wind to run. But if That's we go scimitar, idea, we're though. gonna be committed. We can't run through th Dude. If we go scimitar and we need to run, we need to run through them to run away. There's no point in that. We can provide a run to their fortress and try to beat it in Navcom, however, you know, fuck that. It, it's a it's Who a came here to run away? I didn't come here to run away, I came here to fight. And I came here to die, so either way, we're doing what I am. Suggest. Let's see how many m numbers they have. We're not going out any door till we see. If we come out of the axe, they're going to sail to us and blow us all up while we're facing to the wind. They won't have enough time. They're all going to be pr in preparation that we came from the south. Axe is the stealthiest... M maneuver of all because it puts us out of their vis range and it allows us to hold the coastline until they've already committed into false position. Okay, so they usually come out of circle though. So they'll be able to tell that we didn't come out of that door pretty quickly. This is a large map. If it, it takes a while just to see the opponent from the um, circle to the scimitar. It takes a while. It takes about at least 10 minutes to see the opponent from the circle to the axe. It takes half an hour to see the opponent if they come out of the... Sorry, it takes half an hour to see the opponent if they come out of the axe. 10 minutes if they come from the catalyst. If we have well, less numbers, they're going to expect us to come out the axe because they're going to expect us to want to go for the town with less numbers and take it to Abcom. Because, they, you know, they're... We're probably not going to be able to kill them in open sea, kill all of them in open sea. If they, you know, I have seen why... uh, the Brits do a strategy where they come out the Cutlass and they hug the wall on the right side of the map and they go all the way down to the bottom, and then uh, they come up with wind, and the enemy they can never figure out where you're at. Surprises the fuck out of them. That's an interesting idea. Sure, yet the crest they won't. The they won't is, see us going. when we come out that that door. Uh, not if you're quick enough surfing. about it. <laughs> exactly. Not if you're quick enough because of the distance, but um, you know, you know, that's you got to close haul it to make it happen, though. So it all depends on which ships you have in your fleet. You got to close haul in order to get down to the south. Yeah, let's see how many they have. It would delay. It would increase the length of the port battle for sure. Maybe some of them would click out. 14 versus 24. 24. Right, I'm saying axe right now. Axe, motherfuckers, axe. Scimitar or cutlass? Preferably scimitar. For Christ's sake. I, I, I thought I already proposed the strategy. Axe! You did. L let's take it anyway. So just because you proposed a strategy, everyone's going to do it? No. No, that's well, not the way Well, did you hear works. a better plan? Uh, Coughlin's leading. Coughlin decides what he thinks is a better plan. 
Um, he gave one my lead, motherfucker. Well, we're outnumbered by um, eight ships, so. I came to fight. Oh, I Seriously, so I say we just we go, go to Scimitar now, Scimitar. because if we go out the Cutlass, we kind of wasted time already to get set up to do that. Yeah, Scimitar. Seriously. Mm -hmm, yeah. And, and just what do you plan to do when you come out of the Scimitar? You, you plan to fight a 14 versus 24? Why not, dude? What's the other option? We, we're we gonna take have the to axe, them we force them to come to us, we get rid of the town defense gun. We make them think that we came out cutless and that we're sailing all the way to the edge of the map. Who, who knows? No one ever expects the axe, and that's the beauty right here when we're outnumbered. Seriously, I, I can't believe you don't trust me enough to <laughs> give my Lee away in a dice roll. Dude. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. If we're gonna follow, we're gonna do what Chris Silver does. And if his strat sucks total ass, and and we and we lose really badly, then we're never gonna listen to him ever again. Fourteen All versus right. twenty-four, and you're giving me the option that if I lose, you, you completely discredit me. Go out, go out the axe. Go out the axe, like Chris Silver said. I'm never gonna get moving. We will He's get awesome, moving. By the way. We'll... Just don't discredit it yet, all right? Everyone already has. <laughs> Look at the wind. Right, everyone, what the hell? Everyone is in big ships there too. We're never gonna get moving. Hey guys, we'll get to the town here very slowly. I'm moving about a yard every ten seconds. <laughs> For fuck's sake, unstick, <laughs> bastard! Dude, that puts us further away. All right, are we turning right? Or we should we be tacking towards the land. Towards right or left? Go right, right. We're going to go west, and then we'll go south once we get further west. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? I don't know. It's just funny the way we start. I'm sorry, do you want to fight a 14 versus 24? Alone right here, I will say. Yes! We have a 30 yes, point. I do! I want to fight! Don't you understand that? Oh, I'm sorry, there, there's no point in I'd fighting a I'd love to court. fight! Do we have an Arcadia I say. something in here? Minerva? Tell that Minerva, that Russian in the Minerva, to go blow the town gun. Um, let's see, what, what do we have? Or tell there's that guy back there in the Conk Sleek, he can go up one pretty quickly. Tell him to go blow it. It sounds like your kid uh, has a good strategy there of the sea. What's he saying? He basically blah, said blah, we should have gone out scimitar. But oh, so it's the same strategy idiots. as Crest Silvers. <laughs> blah blah blah. It's the same strategy as Crest Silvers. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting a lot of hate right now. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, guys. we need to get the Russian. We need to get the Russian. They don't uh, know where we are. To to the so we got that benefit. Yeah, they would never have thought of this. I want to say right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are probably well, going. They they they, they would no, never go nose in the wind. Uh huh? This is the element of surprise. All right. Uh, in that regard, I, I think we made a mistake here with the tag because if we would have gone, say, southwest, southeast, we would have been able to clear that channel a lot more efficiently. W we are going through that channel. Yeah. Well, why don't we you build a time block. machine and go back and change that? I mean, say this what puts you us want further hey, west from them. I'm, I'm trying to make it relevant, all right? Just this puts us further right? west from them at the beginning. So if they did have a scout go out the point and shield, they wouldn't see us. Is is uh, likely a chance to see us, dude? We're going straight, like, away from... Yeah. No one puts a scout out of the pointed shield. Oh, yeah, no and one takes the fucking a... door we just took. Robert Delacier on that. I told him to go blow the gun, but no, I guess he's not listening.
We're going to have to turn to the red probably three times and make it through that little channel. Your point? I mean, it's going to take them more than half an hour just to get up here. They're going to be all fucking south trying to find us near the cemetery. Everybody uh tell Robert Dale Sierra to go blow the gun. <laughs> Alright, I want you to do something for me, Chris Silver. Before you say anything else in the rest of this sport battle, ask yourself the question, is this defensive or constructive? If your comment is defensive, be quiet. If it's constructive, go ahead. I don't believe I'm yet to say anything defensive. Are you yeah, seriously going to hit my stern, Matt? Oh, fuck. No, I, I don't think I, I did. Think I at least hit my bow. <laughs> I had two people hit me in the stern when I'm halfway turned through the wind. They hit me right back, so I lose all progress. Oh, two. Sure, let's go on that. Look how far that archer on his head. He should blow the town gun. He's cruising. We'll sail this tack until we hit the almost hit the landmass in front of us, and then uh, go eat, go west again. Well, main point here really is just that we get rid of the town defense gun as quickly as possible so we can get the timer going because our only option right here to win this battle, 24 versus 14, is out. And we can force them to take it long enough just to get up to the fortress. Well, if we're so intelligent, we can sit in front of the town and try to spike out a couple of people as well before we go in. Unless the timer has already gone out, in which we need to be going into the town as fast as possible. It depends on how long it takes them to get to us. Once we blow the town gun. You should know they're going to be fucking around near the scimitar for about half an hour thinking we went south. Well, this strat will give us time to set up at the no, town at least. No, when they realize that we blew the town gun, to they're going to say, maybe they came out of the act. Yeah, as soon yeah, as we blow the town gun, retired. they're going to know what we did. I want to say this. Why is money shots going that way? We're going west money shots. He's blown that gun. I want to say this actually.